Hello, I'm Neil. Welcome back to the Happy Huts. Thanks for clicking on this video because I will be unboxing this, the Urban Ears Platan 2 Indigo headphones. Uh, they're gorgeous and I, I know this because I've got a pair of Platan 1 headphones, the original ones, which you'll see in a minute. They're completely clapped out. I've worn them every day for about four or five years so, uh, so i wanted to see how these compared with the original platan uh, these are lovely uh take a look at this so this is the platan 2 indigo is it platan or platan i don't know and there's the flap i'll push these two buttons if i've got it upside down there we go look at that packaging it's gorgeous presented atop a triangle <laughs> Oh, but I'll show you what else is in the box in a minute. And there they are. Uh, as ever with these unboxings, I'm reaching around the camera. Oh, so it's a bit tricky. Look at that. It's a nice label there. A bit like the label on my original platen. I'll show you some other crucial differences that I've already noticed. But let's uh, open this. It's like a folded hard triangle pyramid of technology. Ah, oh, look what's in here. There's <laughs> an Urban Is sticker. You can put that on your forehead. Boom. There's the cable tie. All tucked in neatly. That's, that's what the, let's get the focus right. It's a 3.5 mil jack. If I compare that with the original platen, which is kind of a, I oh know it's the same color. Wow, looks, is that the same? It's probably an optical illusion. Look how battered my poor 3.5 millimeter jack is. That's after about five years of use, I think. Four years, almost continuously daily. It's still working beautifully, but man, it's gonna be nice to have this. And look at the other crucial difference. See, I've, over the years, tried to bend it this way, but Urban Ears have very kindly pre-bent it for you. So this, 3.5 mil jack is at, uh, is at an angle and I don't think you can see it says there's the focus urban is the other crucial difference which I've noticed on the packaging is this he says pulling it out I thought this was a jack shall I pull it out yes it is God, that could have gone horribly wrong couldn't it so <laughs> there is this cable is completely uh, replaceable and the other groovy thing, I guess, is that you can plug it into either ear, which um, I don't think is the case with the original platen, because look, it's permanently wired. I think if I pulled that out, I would destroy my headphones. So that's the first nice touch with the platen too. There's uh, the L-shape jack and the ear end can go in either ear and obviously one of the benefits of platen if you've not had one of these before is that you can daisy chain them so that I can plug these headphones oh look at them my poor dead babies um, that could go into here and you can daisy chain it along wouldn't it be good I know you can't but wouldn't it be good if anyone <laughs> in that daisy chain could answer the phone call for you click and look at the microphone right so I'm all over the place because I'm giddy with the excitement, but this is what the microphone looks like. It's, uh, it's got urban ears on the back. Man, do they like putting their name on stuff? And rightly so. And you press the button to go a state of my hands. It's from fixing the door. And one click to answer. And if you compare that with the old urban ears which is curved it's a nice flatter design I wonder if the length is just for comparison the length of cable to mic is it's about the same it's about slightly shorter the earphone padding is stitched around the edge and mine have completely come off but from memory look at it because every time I wear them <laughs> these platen headphones to get bits of indigo foam uh, on my face. Uh, I don't think I'll have that problem as quickly with these. 
uh, and I've used these daily for about four years. Um, so I'm really pleased with them, but their time has come, I think. On the Platin 2, there's a stitched edge, and this part is stitched as well, and it looks much stronger. The other differences are, just hold them up side by side, on the original Platin, you can see these kind of angle, oh, well they, they fold up that way. Let me demonstrate that on the other side. See, that folds up this way. But on the Platin 2, the hinge, the whole thing hinges. And look, wow, well, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that nice bit of silver under there. So it's much more generous in being able to fold your cable around around here. So then that winds around like that so you hold them in place. You'll see that the the side of the headphones there's a silver ring edge which is the same as the old one. It's a lovely design which is invisible from the side. But the big change is this bit of silver, this kind of uh, brushed chrome look ending on the on the headset there that's different from here where only the middle bit folded round I mean I kind of liked wrapping the cable around that but this will be much stronger and I think much less prone to snapping although these have uh, survived an unbelievable amount of pounding on the old platen the fabric is stitched both sides and on this one it's not quite as nice to me but it's practical there's a kind of a rubbery foam on the side that comes into contact with your head i'll try and get a bit close up so you have fabric on top and wipe clean foam now for a baldy like me that, <laughs> that will probably come in very very useful because, as you can imagine, I'll show the old platen again. I bet that has seen some filth from my head. Obviously, I have a clean head. I'm surprised this is still indigo colour. Um, but what might be a big improvement is to have a kind of a white clean head surface. The ears twist really easily. That doesn't seem to be putting it under massive strain. It's like the whole headset is designed to angle however comfortable, comfortably you want to wear it. There's a lot of give here. Uh, I can't feel an actual swivel. It just seems to want to bend really easily. And obviously you can adjust how big your big head is by sliding them up and down there. So let me take you through the box if you've got this far why not give me a thumbs up to let me know that uh, this might have been useful to you but I'll close this unboxing by showing you the box so that's the front Urban Ears Platin Indigo my favorite color it's a Platin 2 nice picture on the side and on the back Platin 2 is the classic t-shirt of your headphone wardrobe made for all day comfort Platin keeps your ears alive with a full sound experience and little extras that perk up everyday listening well, I can vouch for that uh, so there is the the flexible 3d hinge which helps the headphones adapt to you um, on the cable there's a built-in mic and remote that lets you skip between tracks and pick up calls and the third feature is the sound plug takes spontaneous music sharing to a whole new level. Platin's an easy travel companion too with a detachable cord. And feature four, collapsible structure. Pretty impressive, huh? Uh, I'll leave you with those stats. 
so i hope this review has has helped if it has at all uh, thanks very much for watching why not click thumbs up i uh, really appreciate it or if um if you wanted to hit subscribe and show the love that way that would be much appreciated or just say hi on the comments It'd be lovely to hear from you but thanks again for watching these are the urban ears platen 2 indigo headphones i give them a massive double thumbs up and now i'm going to run these into the ground for the next five years thanks for watching but look you get um, what can only be described as a massive poster bit of a weird <laughs> freaky image that i will have nightmares about <laughs> it's a poster oh man i'm not getting that out of my retina Look at that, I have to zoom out. Look at this. It's a big creepy poster. All of your urban ears nightmares come true. Or are they dreams? Ah, oh, I could be this guy.